guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin. Um, I thought it would be super fun to do a Friday shop with me run errands type of vlog. Um, so I'm going to get ready really quick. It is after work, um, but I just really don't get ready during the work day whenever I'm at home. I mean, like I always change and wash my face and brush my teeth and do all of that, but I don't really do my makeup or hair because I honestly try to give it a break. Um, and so I'm not putting like all these products on my skin and irritating my face and, you know, doing all this heat damage to my hair if I'm really not gonna be seeing anyone. But I do have some things to do tonight. So I wanna put a little makeup on. Um, and I thought we could get ready before we go out and run some errands. I desperately need to get my nails done. My nails are kind of a disaster. I have to do more returns. I feel like I'm always doing returns in these vlogs. Um, and then I have a couple random things I'm going to pick up. I don't know if I'm going to continue the vlog into tomorrow or just do tonight, but um, we'll see. I've been having so much fun vlogging lately. Um, I feel like it's just my favorite thing to watch on YouTube right now, and I kind of like putting them out myself. So I'm going to probably speed up these clips um, so it's not too boring and then take you guys along with me. So um, if you like vlogs, if you like hauls, if you like makeup, be sure to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up.
first things first, we're gonna go um, get our nails done. I'm going to a new place because I wasn't too satisfied with the place I've been going to. They like really fouled my nails down a lot. They were super rough last time and my nails were like breaking very easily, which is not characteristic for me. So trying a new place, I think I might get white. I'm really sick of pink. I feel like I always get pink. Uh, but I really like how my hair turned out. Dyson Airwrap, who needs that? I just like flipped it with my straightener. My whole life I thought face framing layers were the most flattering look for me, but I think if you get your hair cut like away from your face, you can do these like little flips and add dimensions. So that's just my tip if you're looking to change it up um, at the salon or whatever and just like flip it out with a straightener instead of spending all of that money on the Dyson Airwrap. But Anyway, um, I had a couple slices of pizza for dinner, um, some Friday yum-tastic food, and we're gonna go get our nails done. But first, we have to stop at the bank and get some cash for a tip. I am here, ready to try out this new place. It took me not that long to get here, so I'm actually kind of early, so hopefully they can take me early and I can get my nails done pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see how they do, and hopefully I like them. So I just got my nails done. I really like them. They did a really good job. I absolutely love the shape. It's like a very true square shape. The polish looks thick. He took his time. I was really impressed, but it was a little pricey for a manicure where they didn't really do anything besides like dunk my hand in hot water. So I feel like that was like the one negative and it's further from my house, but this is like a really nice upscale mall and I like the experience. So I feel like if I have a special event, maybe I'll come up here because it seems like they did a pretty good job. But now I'm gonna head to the other mall, which is like five minutes from here. There's like two malls in this area. Um, and then do my returns and maybe do a little browsing around. So I finished up at the mall. I probably will carry this vlog into tomorrow because I feel like it's not long enough. I got a Coke Icy at Target. I also got a really cute pair of like joggers with a tie waist, like they're cargo jogger, they're cargo joggers. And I feel like they might actually look really cute for work. They were so flattering. And then I got this like faux leather shoulder bag, like Bottega dupe for 10 50. Um, and that was the only thing I bought at the mall. I have come to the conclusion that Target is like literally my favorite place to shop for clothes. I just always find something cute in there and something that I like on my body type. Um, I returned my stuff at American Eagle, which was great. I was gonna try on some more jeans there, but they were all so expensive. And I was like, I know I can get these same jeans for like cheaper at the outlet, so why would I buy them here? So I just got the money refunded. And then I go to Express and they were like locking up and I was like, are you guys closing? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, uh, can I ask why? <laughs> and they were like, there are a lot of reasons why. The mall won't update our website hours. And I was like, oh, okay. Like I was just wondering, like the whole mall is open and I'm just like wondering why you guys are closing. But I thought they were just like so rude. And I thought a lot of people at the mall were like super rude today. So I don't know, maybe it's, uh, what's it called? I don't know, some astrology thing when there's like bad energy in the world. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like people were just really rude. But anyway, I'm gonna head home. It's like 7.30 now. I might stop and get a car wash because my car is really dirty, but it's just been snowing and raining a lot here. Um, but we'll see, because I feel like the line is always super long.
workout outfit of the day, wearing this cute uh, zebra print shirt from Nike and these purple leggings from Victoria's Secret. Let's go run. Good morning, you guys. It's time for a run. I made a breakfast, um, a little pita with egg and spinach, kind of like the Starbucks breakfast sandwich, but better because it's not all like mushy. Um, so I had that, had some coffee, and now we're gonna go get a workout in. So I just worked out. I did a 30 minute run. Um, I did a little bit of abs and strength and I've been really thinking lately about the that girl trend. And at first I found it like super, super inspiring. And then I found it kind of toxic because I feel like one of the reasons why I found it toxic was because it made it seem like everyone had to be the same girl. But I feel like lately, again, I've been like getting inspired with it and whatnot. And I feel like if you tailor it to your life, and you do simple things like you cook yourself a healthy breakfast, you do a workout that you enjoy for however long you think is good for your body. You know, you do things like you go out with your friends, your, your significant other, you let loose, you stay home, you read a book, you do a face mask, whatever it is. I feel like if you tailor the that girl mentality, which I feel like is just, it's supposed to be like an inspiring mentality, but I feel like it's easy to be like, comparing yourself to other people and being like, well, I don't like green juice or I don't go to soul cycle, so I can't be that girl. But yes, you can. You can be that girl by doing healthy things for yourself while also letting loose and having a normal, healthy, balanced lifestyle. So those are just my morning thoughts on my workout. Um, but I'm gonna go take a shower, pack my bag for NYX, and then get ready for a fun little night. So this is my outfit. I'm wearing this like wine colored crop top from Altered State. Um, and then my black mom jeans from American Eagle. <laughs> I'll be wearing boots to cover up these hideous looking socks. And I did my hair a little bit more dramatically than yesterday. I've been really having fun experimenting with a straightener and kind of like flipping my hair out and doing a little curl thing. But I like how it turned out. It turned out a little bit different than yesterday. I feel like it's not an exact science, but I'm definitely working on it and I think it's a good dupe for the Dyson Airwrap. Just use your straightener as a curling iron or kind of like flip out your hair. I want to show you guys what I picked up at Target yesterday. So I got this really cute cream shoulder bag. I love the faux leather look. I feel like it's kind of like either a Prada or like Bottega dupe and it was on sale for $10.50. So that was a no-brainer for me. I also got um, this really cute pair of cargo pants and they're like cinched at the waist. They're literally adorable. I'm gonna lay them out on the ground so you guys can see them better. They are just so flattering. I love how they look. They're like a jogger. I feel like they'll look so cute with a shirt tucked in. And I'm not positive, but I feel like they could be dressy enough for work with like the right shoes and right shirt. But I'm basically ready. Um, I'm gonna grab a water and then drive down to Nix. We are gonna go to the South Side tonight. Um, we haven't been to the South Side in a really long time. So um, we're probably gonna go to either Urban Tap or The Vault for dinner. The Vault is really fun. They have like um, beer and wine on the walls and you get like a little token and that's like how much you can fill up your drinks. You can like try different wines or different beers. Um, and it's just like a fun place to go. And then we might go to the Tiki Lounge and get some tropical fun drinks, like a daiquiri or something. We wanted to go to this place, Hidden Harbor um, in Squirrel Hill. We've been wanting to go there for a couple weeks now, but um, we haven't been able to get in. It's always like super booked. So I don't know, we're probably gonna go out and stay out a little bit longer tonight just because Nick is on call the next couple weeks. So. We won't really be going out as much. We'll probably just go to dinner um, and do nothing too crazy. So that is the plan for tonight. And I will probably insert some clips from the night or I will just sign up the vlog. I don't know, but um, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Yeah.